Folks, I'm going to try something a little bit different. You know I use Dragon Naturally Speaking voice recognition software. Well, it turns out Apple, with its operating system, has its own voice recognition software. And I've not tried it yet, but I think it would be worth giving it a go to see if it can understand me with a, a kind of an alternate accent. So let's see how this works. It is a uh, package you have to download and install on your Mac. Downloading Enhanced Dictation. You can see here I have Zoom H1 attached to my neck here. Right there it is. And uh, so I'm downloading the Enhanced Dictation Package for the Apple Mac. And we're going to find out if this does a good job translating what I say. Uh, so a 1.2 gig download. Looks like it's part of, uh, of the software that I've got here, which is El Capitan. I have the El Capitan Package. Double click or a click function twice again here. This is a test of Apple's voice recognition software. Period. New paragraph. I am recording this video with a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Period. I am just trying to find out if the Apple voice recognition software can understand a person with an Appalachian or Southern accent. Period. New paragraph. This is pretty interesting. Period. I'm enjoying this test, comma, because it is a good comparison between the Apple software and Dragon Naturally Speaking, period. I am trying to speak precisely and not use an overabundance of my Southern dialect, period. It looks like Apple does not understand the word dialect. Period. Interesting. New paragraph. I am now going to unattach the microphone that I'm wearing at my neck and pull it up closer to my mouth to see if it understands the audio better. Period. Well, I'll be darned. The mic has not even been hooked up to me. It was laying on the table. Period. New paragraph. So, I didn't even have the microphone positioned in a good place, but still, the software seemed to understand what I was saying. I actually had the microphone down around my hand where the mouse was located, period. Okay, I hit function twice, again, which I think should have turned this software off. Let's take a look at what I've got in here. Okay, let's find out here, if I pull this zoom up to my face here, I didn't know if the, if the Sony microphone might have had something to do with it or not. I'm going to unhook the Sony. Let's just use this mic. Test one, two. Looks like the Zoom H1 is still working. Now, you know, you wouldn't be able to hold this while you're doing dictation, so I'm going to put the Zoom H1 right down in front of my uh, Mac. So here you can see where it's positioned. So this is about, I don't know, 14 inches from my face now. So let's test this again. I come in here and do a new paragraph. And now I'm going to double click the function key, the FN, in case you're wondering. It's that key right there, the FN that I'm clicking. Okay, so here we go. One more time. This is Tony doing a test of the Zoom H1, comma, just to see if the microphones that are built into the H1 will pick up my audio and allow for Apple voice recognition software to work, period. New paragraph. 
The big thing that I am noticing is that there is quite a lag in voice recognition time with the Apple software as opposed to the Dragon Naturally Speaking, period. Also, I would say that the Apple software is about 15 to 20 percent less accurate at understanding my Appalachian dialect than the Dragon Naturally Speaking software. Let me try to quote something so that I'm not just stammering along, period. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its five-year mission to seek out and explore strange new worlds and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before, period. So it looks like the software did understand that. Let's do a test where I'm not using a Zoom H1. Let's just try this test using the built-in microphone of the Apple. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to change this back to internal microphone if it'll let me. Yeah, there we go. Now we're using the internal mic. Okay. We're going to go back on the screen here and we're going to see if it's a little more accurate or if it's just as accurate using the internal microphone on the iMac uh, 5K, uh, 5K screen. That's the one I'm using and I am using El Capitan uh, as my operating system. So here we go. Back here and function twice. This is Tony now testing the audio from the iMac 5K period. I'm trying to find out if I get just as good a result from using the built-in microphone that is in the iMac, period. As you can hear, I am trying to enunciate very clearly, comma, but I am not changing my Appalachian accent, period. I am only changing the way I enunciate. Let's try another quoted example. Period. New paragraph. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Period. Now, that was not really a good example because it uses archaic language that the apple probably does not understand, period. New paragraph. Let's try something else. Period. New paragraph. Dr. David Banner, physician, scientist, comma, seeking to find a way to tap the inner strengths that all human beings have, period. Then an accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry, period. Now whenever he becomes angry or enraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs, period. New paragraph. It looks like the Apple iMac works really well, even with my Appalachian or Southern accent, to understand text as I dictate it, period. I'll have to say, this is a pretty nice setup, and if I just enunciate properly, it looks like it is fairly accurate period. If you have a modern Macintosh, comma, lots of RAM memory, comma, 
and the latest operating system, I would say this is a pretty good voice recognition option, period. Thanks for watching, comma, subscribe if you like, period.